Welcome back, my night outers. DJ Seiko Eddie here in studio with me tonight is, well, just me and Tony tonight. Uh, if you want to be part of the show, by the way, you definitely want to hit us up on Facebook forward slash my night out. Uh, hit me up with an email, my night out at verizon.net, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we're out there, DJ Psycho Eddie, or my night out RI on Twitter, Instagram, just DJ Psycho Eddie. I, that sounds like I'm talking down about myself, just <laughs> him. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff, and I, I say this every week. There's a lot of cool stuff almost every night, every day going on in Rhode Island. Uh, if if you if you you're looking for something to do, it's only stones throw away, no matter what you're looking for. Um, right now, actually, one of the things that is going on, it's going on the whole month of January. It's the Lord of the Wings. Uh, by the way, Jim Nellis, who, who runs Lord of the Wings and the uh, Rhode Island Food Fights. Uh, Entrepreneurship franchise, franchise, at this point. yeah. He's 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 getting big. I I I don't understand how they. Do, I understand how he does it, but how he's not bigger than what he is, or, or, or Rhode Island food uh, fights. You know, I think it's by choice. I think he's trying to kind of stay boutique, because I mean, I'm just looking just the Lord of the Wings. Now you have 21 different places and really good places. I've been to most of them. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's almost like a joke now. Let's try to find a place I haven't been to. But he's got 21 competitors at the uh, Lord of the Wings. Now, each place you're going to get at least six wings. Now, I know uh, usually Boneheads will do a full order, not just the six. A few other places will give you more than just the six wings. So, But either way, you're looking at a minimum, if you go to every place, 126 wings. That's at the minimum. It goes up from there, and that's only twenty dollars. Yeah. Twenty dollars for one hundred twenty-six wings. You go to any wing place, the cheapest wing place. I mean, how do you beat that? You can't. And th then you get a chance to try a bunch of other stuff from places that you wouldn't ordinarily go to. Jim, whatever you're doing, I mean, you hit a very good chord with a lot of good foodies. You know, people that want to try the new stuff again. Uh, in February next month, they're going to do the Grinder Challenge. Now, I was talking to a bartender last night, and he was saying that you know he's never heard of Rhode Island food fights. I, I almost had to smack myself in the head because how can you be a, a in a restaurant in Rhode Island and not hear of it? But he is talking with his manager at Roma Foods to try to get. Jim and his manager to do something with the the grinder challenge because the grinders over at Roma Foods, along with all their other specialty foods, is out of this world. It's definitely a well worth the stop. Uh, if not that, right across the street from Roma Foods is Tony's Colonial, another great place for really, really good sandwiches. And yes, I did pronounce sandwich with a G. <laughs> Our grinder. Um, that's just how I grew up. You know, you, you, some people say with the, the M in it, the sandwich, but I'll digress. Uh, another thing, we got a lot of great stuff coming up. Uh, Black Sheep Entertainment, Black Sheep, uh, Justin Marca and uh, Matt Ribeiro, they are putting on some epic shows. I mean, bands that you don't normally hear of or they, they don't usually play the smaller venues. Uh, the one uh, ones I'm talking about, like Orgy, just played at Fat. Orgy, Boba Flex out of, uh, I think it's Virginia or West Virginia, Death Valley High from San Francisco. Y you don't have bands traveling to Rhode Island at, at that level. I mean, it used yeah, to be you, when Frank J. Russo was doing things way back in like the late 80s, early 90s. But Usually Rhode Island is, a, is overlooked because of its proximity. I think we've talked about this before because of its proximity to Boston and New York. So they get the good gig in Boston on one weekend. They get the good gig in New York on the other weekend, and then Rhode Island is kind of like what happens. Rhode Island stays in Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the Vegas of the it's an East. An afterthought. But Rhode Island Which is how I feel about West Warwick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Rhode Island is, is quickly becoming known for its venues, like it was late eighties, early nineties when Aerosmith toured through here regularly. Now Aerosmith is only out of Boston. They never really played here that much. And then, again, uh, because of the promoter at the time, he uh, he brought 
Ozzy, he brought all these huge names in, and you don't hear these names coming to Rhode Island anymore. And to make it full circle to your earlier topic of coffee, right over the Rhode Island border, I, I was just going to do gonna the tie-in. There's going to be a, a tie, yeah. The drummer from Aerosmith, uh, I, I, his name escapes me right now because uh, I'm on the other side of the coffee right now. <laughs> I'm on the way down, but... Uh, yeah, right on uh, Route 1, where 1 and 1A splits in North Attleboro, a coffee shop is going in. Uh, it's the drummer from Aerosmith. Um, it's his shop. So you, that's something to be on the uh, on the lookout for. It's, it's going to be opening relatively soon, within the next month or two. So you definitely want to check that out. Um, at that, I'm going to you know, hop off my soapbox for at least a, li- a few minutes anyways, because <laughs> uh, I, I feel a bottle of water calling me. Um, we're going to leave here. We're going to take a break. We're going to talk, uh, we're going to listen to Three Parts Dead. Uh, the name of the song is Everything to You. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, my night outers. Um, I'm just going to continue where we left off because I'm going to bring up a few upcoming events just as, a, as an example. Now, next weekend, January 22nd, Friday night. Uh, now, this is just next weekend, the awesomeness that's coming on. Uh, Black Sheep is putting on a, uh, a, a Slipknot tribute band called Slip-Knot, <laughs> N-O-T, not K-N-O-T. Uh, they got uh, Six Foot Silence, Strangler Needs a Manicure, Inverta, a few more bands with that one. 
Now that's in Providence at the Coliseum, the ruins at the Coliseum. Same night, Club Rocks in North Kingston, right at Kingston Bowl, Whiskey Fire, Tester, and Western Massacre are playing. Um, let's see. That, that, now that's just Friday night. Of course, there's other bins, other things going on. Uh, f- Saturday night, uh, Brick by Brick is going to be at Firehouse 13. Uh, Devil's Twins, Marianne Toilet, and The Runs. Uh, <laughs> Diablo Gato, Damnation, is over at Spotlight Tavern. Uh, Daddy Long Legs, Consuelo's Rever- Revenge. Uh, who else is playing that show? Uh, the Dust Ruffles, Hemlock. They're going to be over at Mardi Gras. And that's all Saturday night. I mean, you can literally go five miles, ten miles from your house because Rhode Island's not that big of a state. And there is a venue with some really good rock and roll going on. Uh, of course, this weekend is pretty well spent, but it's Monday holiday. So a lot of people have tomorrow off. So even tonight, there are some really good show. I mean, even uh, Chris Hansen, Viking Jesus, is playing tonight, I believe, over at Firehouse. So it just takes a little bit of searching to find a really good show, and that's really what Rhode Island is becoming. It, it, it's the mecca for boutique music, I think, is the only way you could put it. You know, the, these bands that have a really good sound to them, a very unique sound, and no matter what you what show you go to, there's always going to be that one band that's going to stand out that you really want to check out. Uh, and of course, Bandcamp is a great place to do that. Uh, there's a few others. You can just go on Facebook, and and it, it's amazing the, the amount of bands putting on shows. I mean, even thir- Thirty Silver's got their CD release party next uh, next Thursday. You know, College Night up uh, over at Sammy's Patio. You, 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 they were in, uh, in studio what? Not last week. We were off the week before. So you, you definitely want to check it out. You don't have to go to a huge amphitheater, a huge arena to get a really good show. I mean, I've Fat Squirrel. I, I, what's their capacity? 70, 80 people, maybe, maybe a little bit more. They, they do a huge, huge turnaround. Different bands coming in, very, very unique bands. Our very own Tony Jones has played at the Fat Squirrel how many times? And their uh, Island Saturdays is usually a sellout. If you don't get there early or you don't get there in time, they're actually at capacity and turning people away. Well, th- th- that's another thing. Because of the Fat Squirrel shares the space with Halfway Tree. Uh, now, I-, I had the opportunity to eat there <laughs> several times. <laughs> I know I'm not surprising anyone at this point. But you can go there, get there early on a Saturday. They have the reggae sound, that, that nice island sound going all the time in the music, you know, in the background. But then on Saturday nights when they have live DJs coming in or they have live bands coming in to do this, it, it, it just, it's in itself, it's a total event where you can go get your dinner, kick back, relax, catch a really good show. You never have to leave that building. And, and there's a hot dog cart outside. <laughs> There's a reason to go outside, but they have the, the Jamaican beef patties inside. You know, that, that's one of those toss-ups. You know, illicit meat in tube form outside, <laughs> uh, a patty of illicit meat on the inside. So <laughs> just, just something to check out. Um, and the list keeps going on. I'm literally scrolling. I'm on my Facebook upcoming events page as, as I'm talking to you right now. Uh, Thank you, by the way, Jim Nellis, for checking in. Uh, Teresa, thanks for checking in. Charlie Safford, thanks for checking in. Charlie is from uh, Black Vendetta. He's also in another band. There's a couple other people. uh, Thanks for for tuning in, listening in for tonight. Um, You know, we had them in the studio a couple weeks ago, the McGunks. Now, I I was really impressed. Speaking of people that like to party. Oh, yeah. They they make me look like a ranked amateur. (laughs) 